morning, everyone. It's Sandy Alice Haas bringing you love, light, and hello kitty yoga in the morning. And we're doing one, two, three, warrior kitty with one, two, three, warrior and tree and crane pose, which is my challenge level. There we go. As we challenge Sandy to be a better little kitty. There we go. Now, first we're going to do warrior one and warrior two. So we're going to put one foot up in front of us and the other foot behind. Uh, one foot is going to be at a 30 degree angle and we're going to put our arms above our head and we're going to go, I'm a good little kitty warrior. I'm a warrior of love and light. We're going to breathe in. Breathe in some more. Breathe in some more. Hold it and release. Breathe in. More. More. Hold it. And release. Let your arms go down and your head come up. And we're going to be a little elevated warrior one. Now we're going to slip over to warrior two. Arms come out. Right foot is facing a 90 degree angle. Left foot is facing forward. And we are now in warrior to open up your chest, keep your arms relaxed, and we are now in warrior two. Ready to breathe? Breathe in. Breathe in some more. Breathe in some more. And release. So I noticed something of a lot of the different yoga tapes I've listened to, they all practice breathing different ways. But most of them do one thing. They want you to fill your lungs all the way up to the tippy top and then hold it and then release it until it's all gone. And that makes your body so much better. So that's what I'm trying to train us to do together. We're going to do it one more time. Breathe in. Fill up, up a little more. More. Hold it. And release all of it. When you do this, you want to sort of squeeze your belly a little bit and squeeze out the last little bit of breath. Now we're going to go into reverse warrior. Right hand goes up, left hand goes up. Right arm goes down, left arm goes up. And then we're going to reset ourselves into temple. Heart center. Sorry, this is heart center. And now we're going to do warrior one on the other side. Left foot is in front, right foot's behind, and our arms are going up over our head. Let's breathe in. Some more. Really fill them up. Hold it. And release. Now, one thing that the silver sneakers do, when they do this, they say, well, you can move your back heel up three times. So we're gonna do that for the front of it. One, two, three. Not sure why, but it feels good, so we do it. So let our arms come down, and our head goes up just a little bit. And we're going to flow into warrior two. Now the knee never goes beyond the foot, and we're looking at our beautiful little fingernails. And our arms are straight out, one way and the other. And now we're going to practice our breathing. Breathe in. Breathe in some more. Breathe in some more. Hold it. And release. Breathe in. Some more. Some more. 